Welcome back everybody, Patrick here, moving on to the next question. This question is pretty tricky and unique in my opinion. So we have the following limit that represents the derivative of some function f of x at some number a. State f of x and a. We got f of prime a equals the limit as h goes to zero of one plus h to the power nine minus one all over h. So notice that we're dealing with the derivative and we're dealing with first principles and we know that f of prime a just in general is what? Limit as h goes to zero of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. And notice that this limit here is very similar to this format. So this one plus h to the power of nine, this is like your f of a plus h. And then this minus one here is like your f of a. And then it's all over h. Well, it's easy to tell here that there was an x value here before and we plugged in one plus h for that x value. So we know here that we're finding the derivative at an x value one or a is equal to one. So we can actually rewrite this as f of prime one. So that's the first thing to realize. This is usually a plus h. Well, notice there's a one plus h here. So we can conclude that that a value is one. Now, what's the actual function? What is f of x? Because notice that in a general format, it's f of a plus h. Well, notice there's no f here. So it's already in the format of the specific function we're working with. And we got one plus h to the power of nine. Well, as I mentioned before, usually what happens is we're plugging in a plus h for the x value in the function. So for example, if we had, if we're finding the derivative of x squared, let's say, well then our next line would be the limit as h goes to zero of a plus h squared minus a squared all over h. And let's say we were finding the derivative at an a value of one. Well, then instead of one, uh, instead of a, we would be writing one here, like that. And notice that this is very similar to this, but instead of to the power of two, we got to the power of nine. So we can be pretty confident that the function that we are working with is x to the power of nine. That is what we're finding. We're finding the derivative of this function with this limit here. Because let's say that, uh, let's forget about this limit and let's say that I asked you to find the derivative of this function at an a value of one with first principles. Well, using that general equation, we would have f of prime one equals limit as h goes to zero. And then we would be plugging in one plus h into this function. So we'd have one plus h to the power of nine minus one to the power of nine right, f of one would be here, all over h. Well, notice one to the power of nine is just one, which is what we get here, or we can rewrite this one here as to the power of nine. So a little bit tricky to see. Um, it's a question that doesn't come up too often, but I saw it come up on a test, so I thought I would include it. But basically, these are the answers here. This here is finding the derivative of this function x to the power of nine at a, a value of one.